Hi guys, today we're going to be playing some more Fallout, and hopefully we're going to finish the game today. I don't know if that's really possible at the point that I'm at, but that's my goal. I don't really know, since I'm not an expert on this game, the only thing I can think of really doing is going along and killing everyone that I see for the easy experience, you know what I mean? First place I think we're going to go is the Boneyard. I don't know if that's a good idea, I don't really remember what's there, but hopefully there's people that I can kill, you know? I see Katya. Hubba hubba. Oh, I think, I think Warlord Joe likes Katya. I'm sorry, but I just don't understand you. Goodbye. Ah, uh, poor Joe. Knowledge is life. Uh, I guess. But if that's your metric, then I mean Warlord Joe might be just about dead. Follower of the Apocalypse. Those are those people from, um, um, Fallout New Vegas, right? I'm trying to find someone so that maybe I could sell my stuff, because I do have a lot of stuff. And honestly, I need some better equipment, so if I could just buy something from someone, some something good. I'm very determined to not burn all my bridges. I already kind of pissed off the people at the hub, so I want to try and see if I can't, you know... Oh, what the hell is that thing? Is that a death claw? That has to be a death claw. There's no way that's not a death claw. Okay, I have an idea. I'm gonna come back and kill these death claws. At least, hopefully, I'm gonna see if I can kill them. But first, I want to travel around a little bit. You see, I'm a little too cheap to, uh, to heal myself using my own stim pack. So I'm just gonna walk around for, you know, a couple days until my health replenishes. Wait, there's a little tent there. I saw someone's hand for a second. I'm kind of intrigued. Oh, it's just some dude. What about this large muscular man? I want to go chat with him. Gotta find where those death claw were. I don't really remember. Okay, I see. I found him again. Okay. I think maybe since I've never dealt with these things before, I should probably start off dealing with just one at a time, right? Ah, uh, yeah, that's a death claw, and I only heard it for nine points. I'm not feeling very happy about this. I was critically hit for no damage. Yeah, okay, I guess. I mean, these things seem strong, but they don't seem that strong. At least not compared to the death claw that I've encountered in the other games. Okay, maybe I underestimate them a little bit, but how could you not when they're hitting Warlord Joe for like nine damage? I got a thousand experience for that? Okay, this is where, this is where the money's at. Ah, man, what is this? What is this nonsense? No patience for jokes. If you do not leave this area now, I will shoot you. Well, you know what, buddy? I don't want to use any stim packs, but I'm coming back. You better believe it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he's guarding, but I think he's guarding the wrong thing. I, th I really think he should be trying to take out these death claws. All right, just you wait, buddy. Being disrespectful and shit. I'm coming back now with full health, hopefully. All right, now that the game is saved, prepare to meet your maker, you son of a bitch. He can't be that strong, can he? Although I'm getting shot at from people I can't even see. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. This, wh why can't things like this happen more often? How are you hitting me through these tires or whatever they are? 27% chance? I'll take that chance. Dang, that was a really good for 27% chance. You just gotta take the chance, even if you don't believe you've got it. No matter how much this game tries to gaslight you. Like, every time I've thrown grenades, I've barely had any bad outcomes with it. Well, I'm definitely about to die but I've learned a lot of useful things fighting these guys. And Death Claws too, honestly. Now what I think I want to do is try to maybe take out a couple of more Death Claws, gain some experience before I go back there. Do I feel like I'm close enough to killing it that I don't need to heal? I do. Wow, that paid off. If I burst and run away for whatever reason, he only swipes at me twice instead of uh, three times. Although that time he only did once. Okay, I just discovered this game is easy all of a sudden. I say that. I still get destroyed by the Brotherhood and the mutants. It's fine, though. Ah, uh, man. Bonus hand-to-hand -hand damage and attacks. I could have used that at the very beginning of the game. That would have made me a unarmed master. Although, I think I'm gonna go for this Dodger perk, because I guess with every single level, it adds 5% to my armor class. So, I like that. I like the looks of that. Glad I didn't just come in the town and start mowing people down, though. Truthfully, I think... That, that was like my first thought. I really, really considered it, but now I don't think I'm going to. Oh, wait a minute. More death claws spawn? Wait a minute. So I just discovered like the ultimate tactic to leveling up. You just kill a bunch of these things over and over again. Although that's quite tedious. And I'll be honest, I don't really have the time or patience to be doing that right now. I'm really more curious about what's going on in the fortress. So I kind of want to go over there. Wow, these guys just, they don't mind being picked apart from real far away, I guess. That's not what you want to see. A warlord Joe on the ground like that. Wait a minute. Did he just kill me? 40% chance. So I should hit it before too long. It's not the highest, but it's de amateur. Dude, you should not say that while someone's just trying to shoot you. Like, you should at least be shooting back. He's not even trying. This guy suddenly became a pacifist. It's too bad it didn't work out for him, but yeah. Trying to muscle in on our business, huh? 
Yeah, not quite, dude. I'm just trying to trying to get stronger. I'm kind of like an evil version of Goku. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get stronger by fighting people. And if you don't consent to the fight, I'm going to bring the fight to you anyway. Look, dude, you can heal all you want, but there's no reality where you walk out of this alive, okay? Look at Warlord Joe now. He kind of looks like a Power Ranger. Or like a Spartan from Halo. That's also what he looks like. Oh, he's shooting like a plasma thing at me. I don't like this at all. I'm getting kind of fearful for my own life. I, I don't remember to save it all the time. I will lose so much progress if I die. I'm gonna drop you like a bad habit. I'm gonna drop you like a baby. Skag and jerk. What does skagging mean? People are just making shit up, I swear. I only got 250 experience. It's not like fighting death claws, that's for sure. But I guess the trade-off's fine. They have better loot, you know? Plasma rifle. That seems nice. Oh, I, I, I can't because I'm too fat. Aw, oh, shit. Well, it's time to run away. What? Why are you going again? That's not fair! Okay, that's enough, guys. That's enough. Let me have a turn. Don't swing at me while I'm down. Oh, vaporized. Fantastic. Too bad I'm vaporized, too. You know what I just thought of? I wonder if waiting will increase my health. Rest until healed. Of all the helpful tips that people have given me playing this game, not one of you has told me that I could just wait there until I'm healed up. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Oh, shit. Surely you're not gonna risk hitting your little midget buddy, are ya? Oh, God. He was willing to put his midget friend at risk. Well, okay. Now we know. He's fucking psychotic. All right, once again, my friend, need you to leave, please. Or die. That would also be nice. I guess I'll throw a grenade at him. Okay, that's good. I, I was going to say I wanted to see if I could hit anyone else. What? That is ridiculous. There is no way. What happened there? The wind? Like, that doesn't make sense. Because the wall was right there. I couldn't have curved it, you know? That just, yeah, it physically does not make sense. What if I end combat? <gasps> no way. They're they're fool they're they're fools. They're they're falling for it. All right, I'm going to look through all these lockers since they're all outside being dingbats. Oh yeah. This is what I'm looking for. A power fist. That is interesting. Explosive rocket. What do you mean explosive rocket as opposed to a regular rocket? Oh, armor piercing. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's see if we can't test out this bad boy real quick. Damn. All right, fantastic. Well, I guess that's enough trouble from this area. Time to go somewhere else and see if I can't make any progress towards, you know, the super mutant stuff. Los Angeles County, California. That's where this takes place? Los Angeles area? See, if that's supposed to be LA right there, then I probably lived, uh, well, probably further off the map, honestly, than it even is. But yeah, I'm familiar with the area. I want to see if maybe this is enough to get me into that, uh, you know, that section of the base to kill those mutants right there at the start. Because I honestly feel like if I can just get going, if I can just get past that one little hallway, then I should maybe be okay. Why did it just stop me? I didn't ask to be stopped, thank you very much. Well, what an expedition this is turning out to be. I remember it being far away, but I don't remember it being so fucking far. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we're here, and we're fully healed. So let's go ahead and try this out. Aha! Uh -huh. I beat you to it, ya bitch. Aw, oh, yeah! Okay, I mean, I hurt myself some. I hurt myself a lot. I guess I'm going to fight him now. What? I, I was trying to hit him. I accidentally moved. Oh, gosh darn it. All right, let's try this again because we know that it's possible. Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Now, I don't exactly know what enemies I should really be using the rockets for. I think I should be using them sparingly. Although I'm going to take a guess and say that I'm fine to use a rocket here. There's just so many of them. I see a force field emitter. Wait a minute, you're shitting me. Is there no way to get past this? Oh, it looks like I can pass through. I take some damage doing it, but it's fine. I'm guessing I can't pass through these ones. I can pass through the red ones, which is kind of weird. You'd think it'd be the opposite way around, but... Anyway, maybe we have to go to that computer terminal there. I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and just keep progressing. Oh, shit. Did he really miss? Can I use this computer? What can I do with it? You play a game of 21, but aren't good enough to break it. 
That doesn't look like that's what the computer's designed for, I'll be quite honest. Robobrain was hit for 24 points. Why? What happened? Is it from that? Is that why the Robobrain took damage? Well, then why the hell am I even going to fight them? I should just let them phase through that. I should, like, leave the computer here and go and do something else for, like, an hour or so and see if they kill themselves on those. Oh, look at you, you dork. You just took damage. What a dingbat. All right, let's go ahead and go on through this and uh, see where the story takes us. Let's go to level two. What does level two look like? It looks pretty stacked. I don't know how I feel about this. In fact, I'm kind of curious as to why I would even come down here to begin with. Nah, screw it. I'm going to go to level three and see what that's all about. Okay, surely this little elevator here at this other side of the room has to be where the big bad evil guy is going to be. Wait a minute, there's two of them. There's one there. I bet I have to go into this one. And then it's going to like something's going to happen to disable this one. And then I have to go into that one. I don't know. Uh-oh. Well, it's a good thing he missed. Oh, there's a locker in there. Okay, fair enough. What's going to be in here, I wonder? Good, helpful stuff like stim packs, hopefully. Nothing. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. You sense that there's a trap near. That's the first time this has ever happened in this game. I don't know how to proceed. I'm just going to walk along the very edge. Oh, I got hit for 12 points. I don't even know what kind of trap I got hit by, but it's fine. Oh, fuck. I guess this whole place, it's like a minefield. Bob and weave. Out of order. Oh my gosh. That's what it is. This whole thing tricked me. This was all for naught. Honestly, I want them all to come at me in a straight line. If they could do that, that would be swell. Oh shit, there's one right there. Guess I'll wait for them to come through this door because that's about the best that I can do. Take that. You simpleton. Your death comes. Don't talk to me like that, you big green bastard. Well, it was going well. Until it didn't. That's okay, though. I saved it, like, right here, so it's really not that big of a loss, if anything. That's what I'm talking about. I've been saying that a lot today, I've, I've noticed. I hope it doesn't start to bother anybody. Got another level up. That's got to be a record, having two level ups in one video. Oh, nine rockets? Are you kidding me? This game is just giving me gifts. Now, the only thing that I'm not fully understanding is how the heck I'm supposed to get past these force fields. I know it has something to do with the emitters right here. You know what? Hang on. I have another idea. I tried it before, but I don't think... I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work 100%, but we're going to try it, okay? But we're going to go to level three because I only have one of these. Oh, it worked. Look at that. Hey, that looks to be a human being in there. Maybe I can rescue them. Oh my god, you killed him. <laughs> it's like you had one monster and you just got it replaced with another one. You didn't have to kill him. She's sobbing? Leave me alone? What the fuck? You know what? Yeah, fuck you. Oh shit, his name was Flip. He was probably like a decent dude. Oh, you know what? He was probably giving that flower to her. That's so sweet. But it is what it is. What else can I do? Because I need this thing to be gone. But I don't have any dynamite. I do have other explosives. Is it possible to throw them? I've never tried, but I just assumed that you couldn't. Let's throw it right there. No, can we not? Well, the only thing that I can really think of is to scrounge the map looking for dynamite. So, yeah. I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. The only thing is dynamite. I don't even know where to start because dynamite has been so sparse in this game. You know what I mean? I don't know, but I'm going to the hub because those people do still need to pay for what they did to me. And truth be told, I don't even remember why I'm having beef with them, but it is what it is. Oh, the Brotherhood. That's right. I'm very curious. That was just a, a pretend. Although he's not doing as much damage to me. How was Cabot hit for no damage? That's ridiculous. I'm sorry, but I quite disagree with that. Is this game just protecting them or something? You insult me with your incompetence, dude. Just kill me. Whatever. It's fine. We'll go back to the hub. See if anyone there has anything. I don't know if the people from the hub and I are still beefing or not. Well, so far, it seems like we're beefing at least some of us. See, but look, there's the gun store right there. Maybe if I can just kill these initial guards, I can get to some dynamite, you know? <laughs> oh my god, they killed Kenny. Those bastards. I have never been more mildly entertained in my life. I was hoping I could talk to just one of these people here, but I guess not. This woman wants to walk up and to the side at me. She said, oof, give it up before running away. She's gotta be stupid. These people really need to stop. I just want to buy some dynamite. I promise I'll never come back, okay? If you just leave me alone. See, he says he's taking me in. 
but he's shooting to kill. It doesn't make any sense. I was hitting the groin for three points. Dude, come on. Don't, don't be aiming like that. No, don't run. Don't flee. Don't do it. You're gonna regret it. Everyone's gonna call you a coward. They're gonna call you like Run Lord Joe or whatever your name is, you know? All right, you know what? I'm gonna run away. I'm not gonna lie. I hate to do this. I want to take on the hub. I really do but I feel like I don't have time for it. Well, if the hub's not gonna work, maybe I gotta try one of those other places. Did I kill everyone in Junktown? I have a vague recollection that I did. I don't know, let's go to Necropolis. I, I didn't really search Necropolis too well, I just basically doomed the inhabitants and then left. Oh, okay. Looks like uh, super mutants have taken up refuge here. Hopefully one of these guys have dynamite. But we'll see, I guess. 1,050 experience, that's much easier than fighting a Deathclaw. Equipment's non-functional. It's a desk, man. Oh, thank goodness. There's some fucking dynamite in here, man. I was trying to go to the hub to do it, but... Because I'm pretty sure I'd seen someone sell dynamite there before. But there's just too many guards for me to kill, you know? All right, I don't even care about this plate. You invading super mutants, you guys can have it. Now I can go back to the military base and resume this, uh, this little slaughter of mine. Man, that poor mutant's been sitting there the whole time. He's literally been standing there for days. He's probably waiting to get relieved from all of his buddies, but they're all dead now. Man, what a trooper. More than anything, honestly, I'm just really glad that I found this other piece of dynamite because I'd already been playing a little bit longer than I normally do for these recordings, but I figured it would be okay since this is going to be the last one, you know? Lieutenant of the Master's Army and member of the Children of the Cathedral. Oh, dude, I knew it. I knew it. I knew the cathedral had something to do with it. This is fucking ridiculous. I hate these people. Oh my god, no. We have more of these. I can't find another piece of dynamite. Just pull out a missile and shoot and don't think about it. Wow, the Mr. Handy's still alive. What are these? Plastic explosives? Okay, that's gotta be similar to dynamite, no? Can I hit him from all the way over here? I'm gonna take that chance, honestly. Because I know he's more dangerous than this little guy. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Yeah. I mean, it's fine though, honestly. I don't think it'd be a Fallout video if I uh, didn't forget to save it at some point or another, would it? All right, time to go back to the military base. Aw, oh, come on, don't do this to me. I hope you don't mind if I just run away from you guys. All right, come on, let's get to that military base. I don't I don't want to be out here anymore. These mutants are scary. Aww. I will be running. All right, once more to the military base. Aw, oh, come on, man. Oh, no. All right, let's try this again. You know what? Honestly, I'm not even going to pay these people any attention. I'm just going to leave because I cannot be asked right now. Okay, here we are again at the fourth level. I'm going to save it right here. I'm just gonna keep going, honestly. I don't think they really have anything for me, do they? No, they do. They have those plastic explosives. Damn it. All right, so once again, he's coming my way. I don't want to get stuck in a rocket loop, so I'm gonna come down this way. In fact, it might actually be good to try to get them both if they'll both stop at the same spot. All right, now's my chance. I take the shot, and then I run away. There we go. But damn, they're kind of strong. I'm kind of really nervous to fight him, though. I won't lie. Ah, oh, shit, he's coming my way, like it or not. Look at this dork thinking they can just step out in front of me. Just like that, that's how it goes. 73, I'll take it. Could be worse, that's for sure. Alright, he did 27 points. That's not awful. It's not great, but it's not awful. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna keep hitting him with missiles, because quite honestly, he scares me. Cannot defeat me, yet you're taking out stim packs. Leads me to believe you're close to being defeated. There you go again. This time you used... Four? That is ridiculous. You cannot just use four stim packs in a row. This game is just trying to help you win. Trust me though, you're not making it out of this alive. I've spent too much time playing this today. I just won't let you live. That's right, see? what I tell you? Oh wow, how gruesome. What's happening to you, dude? Encryption decoder disc. Okay, I don't really know what that does, but it may prove useful. I want to search. I want to see what's in here. Oh, more dynamite. Okay. I'm saving it every like five minutes now because I don't want to lose any progress. What? Oh no, they're, they're killing themselves, aren't they? Yep, I killed the right hand of God. The master will be most upset. Now it's time for us to join the... You know what? If you guys are going to kill yourselves anyway, let me get some experience. Try to use the computer, but are unable to get any useful information out of it. Let me see, am I supposed to use this encoder disk thingy? Well, I managed to get into this computer by using the uh, key card of all things. I thought that would be for like a, a door or something. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it's trying to trying to make me do. But I know that's got to be important. 
I know I have to destroy this base, I'm just not 100% sure how to do it. I've got explosives, so maybe I can use explosives. Okay, so I just realized in my quest thing here, it says destroy the source of the mutants. I'm pretty sure that the source of the mutants is uh, these things right here. These vats, if you will. And from playing Fallout 3 and New Vegas and all that, I know that super mutants are made from the these things containing the FEV, all that stuff, right? And seeing as this is the VATS control computer, I mean, I already tried. I can't use it. But I think it's because I'm stupid. That, that's that got to be the, uh, like, the explanation for me, right? But what I want to try to do is to try to blow up this computer if it'll let me. I'm not sure that it will, but it might, you know what I mean? I think I'm approaching this problem from too rational a perspective. I think I need to dumb down my thinking like Warlord Joe would. The explosion destroys the VAT control system. Without regulation, it will certainly cycle out of control in minutes. Okay, fantastic. Wait a minute, time time left 243 seconds? What for? Okay, I think I know what's happening. I think that stupid VAT's gonna self-destruct or whatever since I destroyed the computer, so I gotta just get the hell out of here. Oh god, come on, dude. I know I'm probably fine, but I'm kind of freaking out too. You know what I mean? So what happens? Am I supposed to just wait here? I'm wondering if maybe I'm supposed to get off the map. You know what I mean? As I'm thinking about it like ticking down and shit. But it is what it is. I guess we'll find out. Well, there we go. We did a fantastic job. Oh, I, I think I was supposed to leave the map. Fuck's sake, man. It's a good thing I saved it after I killed the general, dude. We get the same little cutscene here, except this time we're not gonna die, apparently. I don't know. All I know is I'm like 90% sure that the master's at the cathedral because there was that, uh, that little projection of the master or whatever. So we're gonna go there and we're gonna see if we can't get into that fucking door. Imagine he was like in the vault or something, like he's actually the overseer. That'd be kind of crazy. Oh, hang on. Let me go back in here because this lady is clearly probably evil. Maybe. I don't know, but Laura's gonna die. Even if she's not particularly evil, she is like, you know, not in a good organization. Can I blow this up, honestly? <laughs> Maybe, like, that's been the solution to so many things already today. Maybe we can do that. Oh, wow. That's all it took this whole time. I swear, there's a mutant dude in here, isn't there? Leave me or die. Okay, me leave, said Warlord Joe. Never. Ah, shit. It actually killed me. All right, this time I'm not going to talk to that guy. I'm just going to shoot him. There we go. Okay, fantastic. Oh, that's a staircase. You know, I'm pretty sure that one leads to him, but maybe this one does. He's going to be either upstairs or downstairs after all. Oh, interesting. What an odd perspective. Master, was this what I was supposed to become, Master? Are you talking about me, or are you just having a moment? Either way, I'm going to put you out of your misery, buddy. Yeah, I'm shooting this rocket. I don't care if I get hit too. I like that. I like that outcome a lot. Aw, oh, man, he killed me. This time, I'm gonna go downstairs because I feel like the master would probably be downstairs more so than upstairs, no? I think if I were some secret cult leader, I'd definitely be in the basement as opposed to the attic, you know? All right, let's go down the stairs now. Is this just a normal basement? I was not prepared for it to be just a normal basement. Or is it a deceptively normal basement? Like, it's not actually a normal basement, but it's supposed to look like it's a normal basement. I think it's weird that, like, it's just saying that I replace... I put a, I pick up a book and I put it down and it's very sturdy and all that. Something about the wording of this bookcase is throwing me off. I don't know if I'm just conditioned to blow things up now, but I'm gonna try blowing it up. Actually, first, I'm gonna save it. Wait a minute, I just saw someone. Yeah, see? Who are you and what are you doing down here? Urk. You idiot, you're not allowed in this place. Return to the cathedral proper at once. Nah. Damn, dude. Well, next time you wanna shoot at Warlord Joe, you should probably hit. Yeah, that's some mutant activity going on in there. Yeah, see, I knew it. It, it just kept saying like, oh, it's sturdy, you know? Oh, shit. It's a cavern. Oh, it's a vault. Oh, and this thing's called Master's Pet now. Does that mean, like... Yeah, okay, so the Master is here, but... Yeah, I guess this is one of those floaters that's particularly special to the Master. I've run out of all of these stim packs. Man, this is, uh... This is rough. No! Wait a minute, this is the wrong load. I really hope the vault beyond this section isn't a big elaborate portion, but it might be. And if so, I guess I just have to deal with it. 
Oh dear god, he really just crit me right there. Why do you struggle? I don't know, man. Honestly, I guess I'm just shit at this game. No, dude, please don't have killed me. Oh my god, he killed me. Also, the music keeps like changing or cutting out. Or something. Uh oh. Basically, what happened, ladies and gentlemen, is my power went out. Let me just check that the video is still recording real quick. Yep, apparently we're still good. Ah, oh, dear God, of course. Well, I don't know what happened in the real world. All I know is I hope that my, uh, save... I hope I can do this in one attempt, because apparently I have no internet access. Don't really know how I launched the game in the first place, if that's the case, but yeah. I wonder if maybe I can just evade them and just go past, you know? Oh, is he running? He's running too. Okay, I think I've got them right where I want them. Oh, come on. If only I could just hit this guy. Don't taunt me and not even look at me. Good lord. That took a minute. All right, you'd better believe I'm going to save it now after all this trouble. I see Vincent, a super mutant guard. He looks bored. I don't like the sound of that. I don't really know what I want to do straight away. I guess I'm going to go fight this uh, Vincent dude. You know what? Aw, oh, man. Let me see what's on level three, honestly. Maybe that might be the right place to start. Well, I don't know. I don't really think there is a good place to start. Oh, God, though. This place is a mess. Good Lord, where the master's got to be in there. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. Seeing as this guy's over here all by his lonesome, I'm going to go ahead and jump him. Although now his friends are alerted to my presence. That's okay. It looks like two of them are coming after me. Oh, actually... There's a couple people coming after me, but it doesn't look like the whole of them are coming after me, not like the whole facility, so that's good. Oh yes, stim packs and drugs, that's what I want. Also, I forgot all about my super stim packs, no idea why I haven't been using those. Let's try using a super stim pack. Wow, that really is a super stim pack. That thing was insane. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Yep, damn, that sucked. So I guess I'm just kind of in for a shit show no matter what. Killed a human? Aw, oh, shit. Is it just one that's feeling murderous, or is it all of them? Oh no, it's all of them. But they're not hitting me for very much. Although they are kind of beating the shit out of me. Alright, here you go. That is bullshit. I could not have missed that bad. Twice, dude? Alright, let's try this one more time. This time I'm aiming for this guy. It's a good thing these things aren't very strong. Although, they did almost kill me. But of course... If you had like a hundred kindergartners attacking you, you know, even though they're not very strong, they're probably just gonna mollywop you. Yes, I've leveled up. I'm so happy. I'm gonna go ahead and take the earlier sequence perk. Going first in combat seems like a good idea for me. Maybe it'll even make me go like, I don't know, you know, maybe a couple of times. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna try to access this computer and see what I can do. I lost three hit points. Why? Is Warlord Joe just that stupid that he just can't use computers? He, he ends up hurting himself in his confusion. Oh gosh, there is an abundance of enemies here. Oh, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about, dude. We need some treason up in here. All right, we're gonna wait for them to walk out this door and then they're gonna get the beating of a lifetime. Haha, <laughs> you idiot. I should have healed before I started fighting these two. I don't know why I didn't, but it is what it is. Also, I hope I can get to that elevator without having to do some puzzle or something. There we go. That's a nice hit. And that is a very nice hit. Well, interesting. I've never had that texture before. I wonder what I did to cause that. I guess as long as I... Oh, yeah, that's kind of a problem. I don't know what any of this is. All right, let me try loading my game back up, seeing if that fixes things. No? Okay. Give me one second, guys. I'm gonna reset the game. Well, I'm back, and there we go. It's all fixed up for us. So we're gonna see if we can't just go down here, assuming this is the, uh, the master area, you know? But the door's locked, of course. Part of me wants to believe that it has something to do with one of these computers somewhere here, but I don't really know. I know I definitely have to go there. I'm like 90% sure of it. But maybe I'll receive my answers in the second floor, because I haven't been there yet. Oh, that's right. There's this Vincent guy. I forgot all about him. All right, I'm gonna equip this, uh, flamer, because it's supposed to be really good. There we go, 36 points. Now these guys are going to get angry and start charging me. That's okay, though. Guy wants to hit me for no damage. I can just leave them hit me. I don't care. In fact, with more of that... Well, that didn't do very good. I was going to say, with more of them being in the way, maybe they'll shield me from... Okay, interesting. Well, he won't be shielding me anymore, anyway. But I was going to say, maybe they'll shield me from Vincent. Maybe they'll get hit instead of me, you know? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I keep saying that. I'm sorry. I'm really trying not to. Wonder if I can't let these people out. 
rescue them, you know what I mean? Have Warlord Joe be a hero. Wait a minute, I lost more of my hit points for no reason. It's happening again. Whatever's happen whatever is happening to me before, it's happening again. Maybe the super stim pack gives me like some kind of withdraw. Am I ever really gonna pass this game or are we gonna keep having issues like this? You know what I mean? All right, I'm not gonna waste your guys' time with this. I'll just cut to when I'm done with all this nonsense. Okay, I don't remember if I killed those two before or not, but they're still there. All the other super mutants are dead. I don't know, we're gonna play with this thing here. Aw, oh, that was depressing. I thought Warlord Joe did a good thing and then everyone died. Sorry guys, I tried. I should have expected it. This game is quite dark, but I didn't. Oh, I see. Yeah, the super stim pack will uh, damage you a little bit. So it is the super stim packs. I better calm down on using them then. All right, I think I'm just going to throw a grenade here. No! I swear I was just thinking of that happening too. I was like, oh, maybe I should like stop right now and save it. It is what it is. When I fight, I kill. Yeah, man, me too, normally. I have a motto actually, you know, regarding street fights and stuff. It's a fight to the death or until the other guy runs away. You know what I mean? Having said that, I've never been in a street fight myself, but uh, yeah, that's my mentality. Why? Now I'm just saving the game as often as possible because I do not want to end up crashing and losing progress again. Jason is a living god. Only the nullified may pass. What? There's no place like home. No place like home. No place like home. What the hell is going on with these people? They're out of their mind. I think I'll put them out of their misery. Well, I would if they die. These people are strong. Like, they've got a lot of health. I have no idea why. There we go. That was a very well-placed, uh, flamey-o, Hotman. See, at this point, I'm really sure I'm supposed to get past this door, but I'm not sure how the heck I'm supposed to do it. Maybe if I just keep trying it over and over again, eventually it'll work. Oh, it, it, it worked. Wouldn't you know it? Okay, guys, I am pretty sure that behind this door is the master. Oh, this door's locked. I didn't even realize. There we go. There's the experience I'm looking for. I mean, honestly, if Warlord Joe can can uh, infiltrate your defenses, I don't think you're defended well enough. I don't think that was a good lock. This is a nuclear warhead. What the shit? What if I blow it open with this? Might want to be careful using explosives around nuclear warhead, but it is what it is. I'm doing it. Oh, it worked. Wow. By the time this is all said and done, I don't think I'm going to have enough uh, stim packs to even fight the master. There we go. They are dead. Now, I wonder what I'm supposed to do with this bomb here. Fortunately, I don't think I have any more explosives. I was going to try blowing up the computer and seeing what it did. In fact, truthfully, I want to see what blowing up the bomb would do. Okay, well, this is fantastic. There's just a nuke here. Like, is this related to the master at all? Where, Where is he? There's no way you're telling me that I went all the way there for nothing. Oh, wait a minute. There's a door right there. Oh, goodness gracious. I feel stupid. Am I supposed to have gone through here this whole time? Oh, it kind of looks like it. It kind of looks very uh, menacing. Oh, yeah, if that's... If any of these things are the monster, it's got to be that fucking thing. All right, went ahead and saved it real quick. Let's go and uh, see if this is the... You know, what's going on? So what shall it be? Do you join the unity or do you die here? Join. Die. Join. Die. Oh, that's kind of scary, and he is very ugly. Is that an eyeball? Why is it there? Why Why do you choose to look like this? Oh, uh, Lee. I doubt even the FEV will help you. Why am I talking? It's unlikely you even understand. Yeah, fair enough, honestly. You think you can destroy me? Destroy me? Yeah, I do. 29 hit points, that's the best you can do. Ah, oh, damn it, he just killed me. Oh, I am so low. I think I'm in over my head, to be honest. I just realized I can just come around here, too. There's like two safe zones from... Okay, never mind, that's not a safe zone at all. Maybe not, maybe I'm like a little too far off. Maybe I need to be right here. Hard to say. Dear Lord, is he just gonna keep summoning these guys? How am I supposed to win? Shit, man, this is gonna be really difficult. See, he just keeps bringing these people. What am I supposed to do? I don't know, I can't keep up. I have to keep like healing myself and shit, you know? I don't see any way that I can possibly win. All right, this time we're gonna try something a little bit different. Watch this. We're gonna start out just chucking these grenades at him, right? Oh, of course, we fucking missed. There we go. Then we're just gonna run here. Yeah, there's gonna be one of those guys. That's This is the only thing about this strategy 
that I'm not confident about, that I don't know how to, like, what to do about. Okay, well, I hit that thing. I guess it doesn't really matter. It can't hit me, right? Oh, shit, it's coming towards me. God, I hate those things. I hate them so much. I think maybe I just try to tank the super mutants. I don't really know. I don't know if that's a good strategy or not. Wow, the fact that I died to that little ass robot there made it worse than anything. Oh, okay, so that does 53 damage. So these things are good. They're not, like, as good as the plasma. No, wait, they are. They're better. Why are they better? Okay, I died. It, it, that's fine, I guess. I mean, it's not fine, but yeah, it is what it is. You know what? Honestly, I should have suspected that these might be pretty good against him because he's like, he's got a computer in there too. All right, so we're going to start out using these and see how they work. Okay, 61 hit points. That's amazing right there. That's, that's really good. Wait a minute. I have a great idea. What if I try that tactic from this side? This might be the winning side. Come on, man. How do you miss that bad? It's the first throw. Come on, please. Just hit all of them. 69. That's a really good omen. I believe in this run. Okay, but this is good. See, it took him a whole lot longer. It, it, it let me throw six grenades before he got here. Fortunately, I got this stupid guy. Well, these two stupid robots trying to kill me as well. There we go. Finally, some things are going my way. Minus these robots. I'm also going to need to deal with them. Because as it stands, I can't really step out of my cover. Oh, he's out of his ammo. Okay, so I don't really care about him anymore. Yeah, see, when they punch me, it's not that big of a deal. I could just ignore them all if all they're going to do is punch me. But if they have weapons, it's kind of problematic. Okay, well, now they're just molly whopping me. They're, they're getting me in a mosh pit. This isn't really the way I want to go. But yeah, man, I swear, like, I can do this, honestly, if I can just get a get a little break going. Oh, uh, yeah, more of them are coming with guns. See, this is, this is what I don't want. I'll kill us all. You think I won't? I will. How did that not hurt me at all? This is honestly horrible. I haven't done any damage to the master in ages. Thank goodness. I just need to keep this one spot clear so I could step out, take a shot, and then step back in. Sorry, anyway, I'm gonna take a shot. And I'm gonna go back. 27, that's not the most amount of damage I've seen, but it's also like, it's something, you know? Uh-oh, I done goofed. I ended my turn inside of the range of the master. Now he's just gonna shoot at me. Oh, well, he hit his, uh... It is guy. Oh, it happened twice. This is giving me some hope. False hope, I'm sure. But nonetheless, hope is a very powerful thing, I'll have you know. Oh no, I died. 74 and 75, that is a great start. Hopefully we can continue this momentum. 71. And another 71. How much health does this fucking guy have? That's a lot of damage to be taken. Although I do suppose if he's the final boss, I mean, it, it makes sense. Ah, fuck. It was a strong start anyway. This is such a cheap way to do this, but I feel like I don't really have much other choice. Warlord Joe, despite his enthusiasm, he's not very good. Uh, case in point. All right, another 37. It's something. It's not pretty, but it's something. Come on, I've landed so many grenades against this guy. How much health can he have? Master was critically hit for 40 points, breaking past the bio-organic defenses. What does that mean? Neither man nor god can save you now. What about sheer dumb luck? <gasps> oh, yes! No way, guys. I fucking did it. Oh, you're shitting me. I have to kill the rest of these guys, don't I? Wait, time left 230 seconds. Oh my- Is he gonna self-destruct too, bro? I need you guys to die, please. Okay, I killed one at least. Oh, how much time do I have now? This is getting scary. 215 seconds. Okay, I'm pretty sure that I could make it. Maybe. If this guy doesn't fucking kill me. Oh, come on, man. I'm so close. Don't do this to me. Don't screw me over. Okay, thank God. Let's end combat and let's run. Let's get the hell out of here. I think as long as I can get out of here, I win, right? I think I just beat the game. Uh, 156 seconds. I gotta keep going. I'm so close. I'm so close to the end, guys. Come on, Warlord Joe, dude. Leave. Get out of here. Go, 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 go. What are you doing? Leave this place. Get out of here. I don't understand. Warlord Joe is just not leaving. Why can I not leave? Wait a minute. Is it because the door wasn't open? Is that it? Oh, yeah. There we go. I got out of there. That was that was scary for like no reason. All right, let's go. Let's let's leave. Please, let's get me out of here.
damn man. I fucking did it. The death of the master was the first major step towards ending his mad dream of conquest and enforced peace. But it is the destruction of the vats that neutralizes the mutant threat. Without the ability to create more mutants and enforce their harsh brand of justice, the mutant armies flee to the east, beyond the no-man's land. The mutant attack on Necropolis spares none of its ghoulish inhabitants. After the mutant armies advance, they leave a truly dead city behind them. We don't give a fuck about that, though, the do we? The mutant armies, led into battle by the fierce super mutants, destroy the followers of the apocalypse. Oh, God. Barely human carrion feeders pick over the followers' remains. Well, that's not good. With Aradesh dead and Tandy missing or killed, <laughs> Shady Sands needs a new leader. After several elections, they find they cannot be governed by a single person and create a guiding council. Shortly afterwards, the raiders regroup and attack Shady Sands, burning the small community to the ground. The Brotherhood of Steel helps the other human outposts drive the mutant armies away with minimal loss of life on both sides of the conflict. The advanced technology of the Brotherhood is slowly reintroduced into New California with little disruption or chaos. The Brotherhood wisely remains out of the power structure and becomes a major research and development house. Thanks to your persistence, the Raiders are destroyed as an effective fighting force and disband. None of the Raider survivors are ever heard from again. Oh, good. Warlord Joe did something good. Your involvement with the various places and people of the Wasteland is well documented by future historians. Only a single question remained unanswered. What happened to you? I thought Warlord Joe ran out of there, probably screaming like Hodor or something. You've done it. That's wonderful. Amazing. I'm so proud of what you've accomplished, what you've endured. There's no way the people of the vault can ever thank you enough for what you've done. You've saved all our lives. Who knows? Maybe even saved the human race. Yes. That makes the rest of this even harder. Oh my god, don't tell me I can't go back home or something, does it? Or are you going to kill me? Everyone will want to talk to you. Every youngster will look up to you and want to emulate you. And then what? Uh, if they, if I'm their hero, man, I don't know. Then the human race is doomed. They'll want to leave. What happens to the vault if we lose the best of a generation? What if we are the only safe place in the world? You just gave us back all these lives. I can't take the chance of losing them. Aw, oh, come on, man. I've made a lot of tough decisions since I took this position, but none of them harder than this one. You saved us, but you'll kill us. I'm sorry. You're a hero, and you have to leave. Fuck's sake. Where's my mouse? I want to kill him. <gasps> no way. Warlord Joe, you gangster. <laughs> I love you, Warlord Joe. Wow. Good lord. What an ending. Wow, I don't even know what to say. This kind of feels like really special in a way. I want to thank you all for all the support with this series in particular. You guys have been amazing, and I'm glad to have made something that you guys have been so passionate about and wanting to see more of. I don't know. It makes me happy, and it's very humbling, and I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I do want to play this game again in the future. I want to play it from the perspective of someone who can actually interact with the environment around them rather than take the Warlord Joe approach. Although I'm glad to have beat the game like this. It's really, really cool, really awesome. But that is the story of Warlord Joe in the very first Fallout. I hope you guys have enjoyed. No, Brian Fargo, not now, okay? I'm trying to do something here. I do want to thank you guys once again for your continued support, especially with this series. I just feel so proud to have made this thing 
that you guys have all seemed to really been taken to. But I love you guys and appreciate you, and I'll be back before too long with something else for you. Bye, guys. Hey, beautiful people. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. If you want to support me further, consider purchasing my book, American Icarus, available on Amazon. And if you just can't get enough of me, I'm a co-host of the podcast, A Random Gamer's Corner. You can give us a listen on YouTube, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts from. You can also follow A Random Gamer's Corner on Twitter. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.